be very chilly tomorrow evening. All right, Garrett, thanks. Mm -hmm. Well, today we clear out the last of the plants we first planted last spring in the Five News Garden, built by Garden IQ in Johnson. All right, we are going to clear out what we planted in the summer, and we've harvested the last of the summer crops, thankfully, because there's still quite a bit. Mm -hmm. But it's about time we have to clear out this because it is starting to get a little bit old. Yep, yep, yeah. You see they're yellowing a little bit. The cool nights are not doing very well for the peppers. So I think we talked about it last week. It's time to clear it and uh, get ready either for next spring or see what we're going to do with it. Now, you're the expert. You brought the shovel. I didn't know I don't have it. So I'm just you, you, we just basically yep, grab these yep, and pull just them like out. we've done before. The peppers should be pretty easy. Shake a little bit of excess dirt off. Basil's got nice and big. We got quite a bit of crop out of this, too. We they, sure they were did. really, really nice. That's for sure. Some of these are rather large. Ugh. I'll have you uh, pull that hot pepper one out. Absolutely. Since you have the gloves on. <laughs> I'll be honest, I'm glad to see that one go, actually. I think so. This one. <laughs> Ooh, oops, oh, sorry. <laughs> Getting a little dirty this morning. Oh, shoot. That didn't come out very well. We have to get a shovel for that one. Now this is all the mint that yeah, we had. Yeah, so the you mint really might can't be. A, tell where the, definitely, you really can't tell where the roots are on that one. The but. mint might be a little bit more of a problem. If anyone's ever planted mint before, they know how crazy it can get. Is this about the time we have to do this anyway? I mean, there's still some that are. It's still pretty green here, but. You don't want to have, have this go on past the middle of October. No, not forever. As I mean, planting it in a raised bed like this, yeah, it can take over the whole bed. And as you can see, it's coming up all the way over here. So it's probably going to be a little difficult to get out, take a little bit longer. Now, does this bed sit empty now for the winter, or do we put anything in here? I think, yes, we are going to do a cover crop in it. Um, I think today it's a little too wet to put the seeds in the ground, so we're going to save it. That was the plan. But yeah, we're going to do some, I think, some Austrian winter peas, just a cover crop to... Explain what a cover crop is. It's just, just to keep the bed yep. flourishing. Yep, yeah. So it prevents against, even though it's a raised bed, it'll prevent against erosion and compaction and things like that. And then it'll add some nutrients back into the ground uh, later and closer to spring when we chop it down and maybe till it back okay. under and things like that. It's, it just keeps it alive, basically. Yeah, it just keeps something going in it. And so it's just not sitting all winter and getting rained on. All right, now that we've got the uh, summer bed empty mm -hmm. of all the uh, peppers, we, we, we talked about last week harvesting at least a little bit of the cabbage. I'm telling you, it looks really good. Yep. How difficult it is now to cut all this out? Yeah, it's a little bit hard. You just got to get down there and uh, cut it at the base. So if you want to harvest the whole plant, even the outer leaves, you can. Uh, but some people tend to just take it right down, right down here a little bit. See if we can. And if you leave some of these outer leaves, it'll continue to put up little sprouts. So it can, keeps growing basically. Yeah, and you can harvest those and little things. But if you do harvest the whole plant, you can use these leaves, you know, with a, a cabbage wrap or something like that. It's definitely a use for it. Oops, almost there. It's important to. If your cabbage is getting close, it's important to harvest it before the rain because kind of like tomatoes, with an excessive rain, they can uh, split the head and things like that. And so that might be and something you consider. And do it before the first frost, too, because that'll really Definitely before it. the first frost. If you're not going to cover them anything, it could make them wilted and not very good. So so you can pull these outer leaves off if you want to, or, but pretty much you got a head of cabbage right there ready to go. It's nice and firm, about you know a little bit over four inches wide. Love it. So it's good to go. All right, next week we'll do more of the cabbage harvest and then we'll take care of the summer bed that we just cleared out. So yep. we'll see you next week. Thank you. And if you have any gardening questions for the experts at Garden IQ and Johnson, please text them to the number you see here on your screen, 785-5055. We'll be right back.